ETL and ELT are methods for moving data, typically into our data warehouse. Here's what that could look like. You extract from sources on the left and then load them into your data warehouse on the right or other database. And so with ETL, what we're doing though, that's the more traditional approach, is we're extracting data from the source and then we're transforming it before we load it into the destination, like the data warehouse. Now with ELT, which is a little different, what we're doing is we're extracting data from the source, loading it in its original raw format into the data warehouse, and then we're transforming it after that. This tends to be the more modern approach. So here's what each of those look like in the case of ETL, extract, transform, and then load. What we're doing is we're extracting the raw original source data, transforming it outside of the data warehouse, and then we're putting that transformed data inside the warehouse after that. Now with ELT, we're still extracting it from the source at the start, but we're loading the raw original source data into the warehouse and then transforming it after that into a different area. So we've got both the raw and the transformed data inside the warehouse. Now let's talk about some benefits of each of these approaches. In the case of ELT, the more modern approach, where we load it into the warehouse and then transform it from there, you're gonna get faster loading typically into the warehouse, and this is gonna easily handle larger data volumes. Also, it's nice that the transformations can be adjusted later because you've got the original raw source data in the warehouse and the transform data. You can go back fairly easily if you need to. Now with ETL, where the transformations happen before the loading, this is more traditional. It's often more compatible with older warehouses, and it could be potentially more favorable for complex transformations. Also, maybe it could help you mass sensitive data prior to loading so it never makes it inside the warehouse, if that's important. Now, ELT, though, where the transformation happens later, is becoming more common because of the cloud. Cloud platforms are cost-effective and almost infinitely scalable. And so it's okay oftentimes if you have both the raw original source data and the transform data inside the data warehouse because it's fairly cheap and cost-effective to do so. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at codybaldwin.com.